one of the picks we got wrong is actually the first game on our list tonight. It's our cool game of the week, which is sponsored by Southern Air Heating and Cooling. And it's Gina hosting Mangum in a battle of the Giants and the Dragons. So strap on your armor. Giants looking for revenge after taking a loss last season to Mangum. In the first, though, Dragons, Austin Lively hands it off to Isaiah McFarlane, who pushes it in. The Dragons on the board first, but the Giants respond. The reigning district MVP, Zarek Jones, taking it to the house, 43 yards, and we are tied like that at eight. Three minutes left to go in the first, Lively looking downfield, but Dylan Davis says not today, gets the strip sack, and the big man takes it himself. The Giants have the lead at home. But the second, the Dragons get the momentum back. They do it on the back of their man, McFarlane. He secures his second touchdown of the night. One minute left to go in the half. It's McFarlane, big number three with his third touchdown of the half. Dragons up 24 to 14. But here in the third, it's Barker to Hunter. And Hunter goes the distance. 24-20, the comeback is on. Mangum, though, would extend their lead again, 32 to 20. But Zarek Jones, the former ACA Athlete of the Week. Wow. He's that for a reason, just lightning quick, punches it in not once, not but twice to give Gina the lead in the fourth. The Giants come back, and they win it 34 to 32. And we are joined now on the phone with Coach Jay Rourke with the Gina Giants. And Coach, I don't think you could ask for any other way to start the season with a lot of fireworks at home just like that. Uh, yeah, it was a heck of a way to start, man. The kids played so hard and, and overcame a lot of adversity, and I just couldn't be more proud of them. Um, I was worried, not going to lie, but the kids stepped up and, and kept fighting and found a way. Coach, you know, after starting the season 0-4 last year, I know, you know, there were some talks in, uh, with you and your team, and the, you guys really got motivated after that going into the second half of last year. But take me through the locker room message at halftime, right? You're trailing 10 to, to Mangum. But to come back and secure that comeback as you guys did, what was that message to the guys in there, especially early in the season like this? Just do your job. We're down by 10. We go out. We score. Uh, then we're down by two. And then, you know, and then get a stop. And it's our ball game. We're going to wear them out in the third and fourth. That's what we do. And, um, you know, didn't start off great. But once we got going, it worked out well for us. And, uh, you know, the kids were locked in. They, you know, we – we knew we made some mistakes in the first half. We had opportunities to get their offense off the field, but just let drives continue to go downfield. And, you know, long time eating drives, and our defensive guys are getting worn out up front. But um, made made those adjustments. Not really any any uh, X and O adjustments. Just playing a little bit faster, taking better angles, and making better tackles. And and then the offense is able to you know score a few touch or a few points and, and run some clock off the board at the end and and uh, get the win. Coach, talk about just, you know, Zarek's overall performance today and, you know, what he brings to the, the locker room, not only on the field, but as a teammate. You know, I, I know he's a very um, flamboyant uh, player, as they say, and he's just got a lot of swagger. I mean, what, what does he do to a locker room energy-wise? Well, the kids know that he's going he's gonna to give us a chance. And the reason they know that is because he attacks every single day like he attacked a football game. He's the hardest worker in the weight room. He's the hardest uh, practicing guy on the team. You know, it, every practice, it's game speed. You never have to say, go faster. You got to say, all right, let's take a couple plays off and get you a drink of water. He don't want to come out. And our kids see that. It's a, it's a leadership thing through action. And uh, they they know we have a chance when, when he's got the ball in his hand. Coach, I apologize. You know, I picked Mangum to win this game. Uh, wasn't my, my best judgment here. Um, but, you know, you guys start the season off with some really tough games. Obviously, Mangum's this one. I think you got Leesville next. But to get off, to get onto the start that you guys had, I mean, I know the goal is always 1-0 every week. But this particular 1-0, how special is this one going into the next week? Obviously, when you guys got Leesville, you know, knowing what lies ahead of you guys on the schedule. Yeah, it's, it's tough, and, and getting that first one's big, you know, because it's going to be really tough to get get the next week. I think we can do it if we play really well, but, you know, a big thing, of course, that comes from is the confidence and, and a lot of growing up over university over again all night. Uh, I think that's going to help us down the road. Um, just, you know, the maturity of going through a four-quarter battle where you're down and you got to call back. 
Coach, you know, Leesville is obviously notorious for having a deep running back room. You guys um, kind of have the same um, flex as a team. Would, what would you say, you know, from the average football fan or even me, a, a new sports supporter in the area, what is the atmosphere going to be like in a game like that? I, I hope it's a lot of fun. We've never played at Leesville. I know that Gina fans travel probably better than anybody we see. Uh, so we'll have a lot of people there. I'm sure they'll have a lot of people there because I know they're excited because they have a good team and one of the best running backs in the state. Um, and that's another one that our kids are going to play really hard in, I'm sure. You know, it's another one that we, we played a really close game in that one last year and ended up on the short end of the stick. Um, but we know we got our hands full, and it should be a lot of fun. Coach, you talked about those fans. Obviously, they voted you guys the game one game or the week one game of the week. I'm glad they did because that was surely a good one. And, uh, Coach, we wish you the best of luck the rest of the season. Thank you all so much. Appreciate it.